Hello and welcome to another video on this weird and wonderful AIR channel. Uh, apologies for the long absence and um, there's a valid reason for that. I've been working on building a set of custom nodes um, for Comfy UI. And uh, in this video I want to show you my new, I guess, LoRa captioning workflow, which is um, Primarily in this one, it's a lot simpler. And the reason being that my previous workflow, which I'd shared, is a lot more complex because it relies on various different nodes to build that entire workflow. Now what I have done is using my own custom nodes, I've been able to condense that workflow down into much simpler workflow. So here I have the additional tagging using WD14 tagger and clip interrogator. But more and more I've been training LoRa's for flux. So these aren't really relevant, um, which means that a lighter workflow like this does the job. So the way this workflow works is I have a image batch loader, which does the job of loading all the images from this location. And here I can support all file formats, including JPEG and PNG. Um, what this does is also allows you to uh, reset the index, which we did in the other workflow using a switch. And here is the same. And uh, I can reload the directory. So if I have added more images, this is my test directory here. If I've added more images here, I can ask it to refresh and reload from the directory. Read captions is another option where if I have already got captions and I want to do image to image so I can send the image and its caption into another workflow, I can use the same image batch loader. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to look at creating um, Flux LoRa like captions and saving them for these images. So for that, I'm using Florence 2, um, which is a great model to start with. Um, the other node I'm using is this one here, which is my prompt writer. So it does a fairly similar job to what this was doing, but it's a lot more feature rich. Here it's able to overwrite files. So if the text file exists, I can set this to true and it will override it. So if you've done a test, you're happy with it and you tweak some settings and you want it to go again through the set of sample files here, you can basically set this to true and it will override. I've also got a log output to show you what it's doing and what it's uh, outputting. Um, all the action it's taking will be output here. And I can also add my prefix for the LoRa training. So that's usually the trigger word. So in case this is my LoRa, and then I add a comma to separate it, um, and it can produce those files. Now, the other additional feature here is the subdirectory, which lets you run various different models. So for example, I did a test with Florence 2, and with um, one of the other language models using the Olama node. And in that case, I was able to output into two different directories, same images and their um, captions into different subdirectories by using two of these nodes. But anyway, let's keep things simple. So here we have the image loader. This is the directory. We're going to read all the images here and run them through Florence 2 to get the caption, which will be displayed here. And it's going to output it to the same directory here uh, using the image file, but with the TXT extension. And it will add this prefix to all the prompts it generates. So here we go. Let's queue this up. And you can see the first image is done. Click next, goes to the second image. third image, fourth image. And if I switch to my directories, you should start to see the output files being generated here. So let's just go through that. It's fairly quick, as you can see. Um, you can also see the total batches, uh, the total images here. So if I add a node here to display, it will show me the total images and I can also see where my current index is. Uh, so again, display. So then I can queue it up nice and easy. So I've got total 19 images 
and I've got eight um, where I'm up to eight. So nine, 10, which means I have nine more to go. So I'll just set this to nine and we'll go through all of them. And here you can see also the image size doesn't matter. In the other workflow, it was cropping all the images to the initial uh, files dimensions or proportion. And it was looking at only part of the subsequent images if they were bigger. So we're done, all of them finished. And if we go back to our directory, we should see the sample files created. So these are all the text files with the prompts. And if I look at that, the tag has been added and you can also see the prompt that it captured. So here, all the files are ready basically with the same file name and matching caption, which means that you can use these in Flux Gym or you can use them in AI Toolkit um, and basically create your LoRa. So that's it for this quick little video. I will be producing more videos and sharing them online. Um, in this one, I just wanted to show you the image batch loader and the prompt writer. Um, have fun guys. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you back here with more videos on this channel. Take care. Bye-bye.